We're going to go to um, our final segment of questions before we get to closing remarks. Uh, this is on the record. Uh, our group of individuals who were vetting questions uh, had questions that came in from the community and decided that we would ask these questions of you, the candidates. We'll start with candidate Aragon. Recently you made a claim that because a DNA test returned that you have, I believe, 4.6% black ancestry, that if elected you would be Albuquerque's first black mayor. Okay. During the summer, you were quoted saying there are people out there who celebrated Juneteenth but can't and won't celebrate Father's Day, mm -hmm. which may feel at which many feel at best undermines the historical and cultural significance of the national holiday. How do you defend these comments? And how would you respond to the black communities of New Mexico who may feel that these remarks are blatantly racist? Uh, they're facts. 71%, I don't have to tell you the, the number, you know, you could finish the rest of the sentence. 71% of children in black homes grow up fatherless. And you know that that's a big deal. And why are we moving Father's Day, which isn't on my calendar, but suddenly we have Juneteenth or Eid al-Fatir or all these various calendars. We are replacing our culture here in this country. I think we've been pretty successful in this country so far, but suddenly we've started creating new holidays. I'm unfamiliar with Juneteenth. I can tell you that it's not something that I've celebrated. I would like a warm, open welcome to a radio host who would love to educate me on Juneteenth and what it's all about from Corpus Christi, Texas and tell us exactly what it's about. But I gotta tell you, uh, just like Red Nation, and we're talking about indigenous people here, replacing Columbus Day with that, uh, that's creating a war here, a cultural war here in our city, in our state. Where was that originated? Was the first person to do it? Ray Gardunio, he was the first person to do it. So in my opinion, I think the racism sort of goes both ways. And try to uh, removing certain holidays here, uh, as we have done, and, and certainly removing certain statues of our cultural heritage, uh, I don't think is a necessary thing to do. I don't know that I need to reply to the black community on that. I am 4.6% uh, African. I can give you the strains if you are so please, and that would be fine. Um, but I believe that I've had my black card also removed by one of the people in the community. You can't change the fact, just like you can't change if 71% of households grow, with up, grow up without a father. We need economic empowerment. Some of the greatest fathers that I've ever seen are African American, and I can tell you it's just showing up and being there. Um, and I can tell you being involved in those people's lives uh, is something that everybody wants to do if they have the economic opportunity. I don't think it's a result of the socioeconomic oppression that we say is institutional that's happening here uh, across the country and in our city. I think you can pull yourself up by your bootstraps and make things happen if you so desire and not find excuses for doing so. Thank you. Um, I do have a follow-up question. Sure. Um, could you source where you got the statistic of 71%? I, I don't have a running catalog of uh, You don't have a source? I'll be, I'll be happy to go ahead and provide that to you. Okay. Sure. And we'd also be happy to provide you with some resources about the history Perfect. of the origins Thank you. of Juneteenth. And I think that in that spirit, we can all come together and educate each other because I certainly have celebrated, as we've celebrated St. Valentine's Day or St. Patrick's Day or, you know... That's what? great. My final question is, sure. did you... Did you, you said that, that we replaced Father's Day. Has that been removed from the calendar? Uh, many calendars, yeah. I'll be happy to give you my, uh, it's the, uh, the train calendar, and I'll, I'll give you a copy of that as well. The Juneteenth is on there, but Father's Day and Mother's Day, Father's Day and Mother's Day not on that calendar. I'll be happy to share that with you as well. That would be great. We'll share thank it with you. the rest of the audience. Perfect, thank you.